The Las Vegas Raiders might be in full off season mode now, but they certainly had themselves a high profile season thanks in large part to that blockbuster trade. That kicked off their year when they acquired all pro receiver Devontae Adams from the Green Bay Packers. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Adams was the former number one receiver for Green Bay and he was originally drafted in the second round of the 2014 NFL draft after having attended Fresno State University. During his time in Green Bay, Adams first lived in nearby Ledgeview, Wisconsin inside of a condominium that was built in 2006 and originally owned by his former teammate Randall Cobb. Details as a three bedroom, three bath condo, the very first home Devonte ever owned for himself boasted more than 3,000 square feet, including what's said to have been 1,000 square feet of finished space in the basement that now acts as a cozy sitting area, billiard space, and den for watching TV. In terms of elsewhere inside, the home's kitchen has more or less everything you would expect, including marble countertops, stainless steel appliances, and wood cabinets. There's also a lovely living room anchored by a fireplace with a giant widescreen TV hanging just above and a flight of stairs leading on up to the second level. Oh, and there was also apparently a home theater installed somewhere on that second floor that also includes a very tiny wet bar in the rear area of the room. As previously mentioned, Adams bought the house from Cobb in 2015, paying right around $207,000 according to Brown County Real Estate Records. And just in case you're wondering, Cobb himself originally paid $200,000 for the place in 2012. In September of 2019, Adams listed his condo giving everyone in the Green Bay area a heart attack while doing so. Not that they had to worry, at least not then. The only thing that this sale foretold was that Devante was looking to improve his living situation and he wound up selling the property for $240,000. This got him a profit of right around 35 k after completing the sale, Devante found a new home for himself in De Pere, Wisconsin, a location that was actually closer to where his colleagues in the Green Bay organization lived, like his boss, Packers president and CEO Mark Murphy. To secure this residence, Adams dropped a little over $429,000 in April of 2019. Not a bad price to pay, but also almost double what he spent on his original Wisconsin address. You would think that might mean this new place was much larger than his last, but it's actually only around 400 square feet bigger than his former home, clocking in at 3,436 square feet in measurements. Since this house was never publicly listed for sale, details and images of the interior are scarce. But we know that the property sits on nearly a half acre lot with a fenced in yard and a three car garage to boot. For all intents and purposes, it seemed like Devonte Adams was going to spend the next decade of his life living out of this home. But less than three years after moving in, Devonte was traded to the Las Vegas Raiders in what many have described as a stunning move. By the time his career with the Green Bay Packers was over, Adams had appeared in 116 games, caught 669 passes for a completion of 8,121 yards and 73 touchdowns. Now that he was on the move, Adams had to sell his De Pere home, which he managed to quietly do while securing himself 575 k in the process. Then he hopped in his car or bus or private jet and flew himself to Las Vegas where he reunited with his former college quarterback Derek Carr. Shortly after the trade was announced, the NFL Network reported that Adams had agreed to a new five-year deal with the Raiders that would pay him $141 million, an amount good enough to make it the richest deal ever, signed by a wide receiver. Upon learning that everything had been made official, Derek was one of the first to celebrate the news by hopping on social media to welcome his buddy back home, a sentiment that takes on even more meaning when you learn that Devon bought a mansion right next door to his good friend. After being shipped off to Vegas in early 2022, the first thing that Devontae Adams had to do upon arriving in his new hometown was buy himself a home. Well, actually, with how these things work, Devontae had already secured himself a home in Vegas, which basically set the internet on fire when some very thirsty Raiders fans caught wind of what had happened and began theorizing Devontae was on his way to the West Coast. The property in question and the homes that Adams secured for himself is a stunning $12 million residence that you could 
definitely say is a major step up from the more basic types of family homes that Devante had been living in previously. For starters, I mean, just check out this exterior. Situated in a posh neighborhood known as The Ridges, it wasn't entirely clear when Adams first bought this residence, if he was simply picking himself up an investment property or if he was looking to live here full time. But the soon to follow trade confirmation cleared all of that right up. You could say that Adam's new digs more or less resemble a warehouse from the future. After all, it's more than 10,000 square feet of glass and steel, and it boasts six bedrooms, eight baths, and amenities like a six screen game room with one of those screens constantly streaming a favorite pastime of Devante's, the Golf Channel. Elsewhere on this property is an expansive open concept main living space that includes the living and dining room areas and is further complemented by a nearby glass walled wine storage unit. Adam's new kitchen is so gigantic that in all seriousness, he sometimes drives his e-bike around it from spot to spot with his young daughter on his lap. Circling his kitchen island and veering past his fridge that's more or less the size of a sports utility vehicle. There's also a very well equipped exercise room and a home office just in case Adams has some paperwork to finish off after a lengthy workout session. Plus, much like his very first home in Wisconsin, this property also comes complete with a magnificent home theater that no doubt puts his former one to shame. Although I can't lie, that green carpeting is something of an odd choice. Doesn't Adams get enough AstroTurf playing out on the gridiron? As for the master suite, it boasts a giant wood headboard with a nearby private garden that moonlights as an exterior shower and a bathroom with a soaking tub, glass enclosed shower, as well as dual vanities. Outside, the lights of Las Vegas are visible just down the hill from this fully fenced and landscape property. Views, mind you, that you can enjoy from the comfort of an upper level deck that offers additional outdoor options like a fire pit and grilling area for entertainment with family and friends. Oh, and there's also a championship golf course right in Adam's very backyard. So close that you can practically smell the sand trap in the heat of the early morning. Of course, if you're looking for something that'll get the blood pumping, there is also a beautiful pool to swim laps in as well as a bocce ball court. More than all of that, you know you've officially made it when you have to pass through not one but two gates, both of which require separate gate codes just to enter. Even the garage is a beast, clocking in at just under 1300 square feet, which means Adams has more than enough room for multiple high performance vehicles. But the one thing that a whole bunch of Adams fans really want to know is whether or not this guy actually has a Taco Bell installed in his home after he filmed a couple of commercials for the popular fast food chain that suggested this. I promise, those were just commercials. I can't imagine how it would make any sense for Adams to have a full service Taco Bell at his family home. I'm sure he loves their type of cuisine, but I'm also just as sure by the look of him that he's not eating all that stuff 24 seven. The most important thing to know about Devante's new digs is that his new city is very happy to have him as part of their team. And sure, this past season ended as a disappointment, but hey, there's always next season. And considering the amazing mansion Devante Adams now calls home, I doubt that he'll be leaving for another team anytime soon. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this house tour to a close. Thanks for watching. Before you head out, consider answering this question. If you could install any fast food franchise in the comfort of your own home, which would it be? Let me know which chain that you would be willing to eat from now until the moment you move out in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure that you never miss an episode. My name is Kara, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.